Since 2018, aircraft insurance rates have been increasing across the board, and recently I'm seeing lots of blogs and articles estimating how much the rates are going up. And so I thought, what if I used actual current insured data to give you a real price on the increases, and the results will shock you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of BWI Fly Live. My name is Matt White, owner of BWI, and we insure over 7,000 aircraft all across the USA. Today, we're talking about using actual data from real aircraft owners and BWI insureds to pinpoint exactly how much insurance rates are going up. I actually don't think this has ever been done before. Usually, we see brokers that have a general idea of the rate increases they're seeing with their customers, writing articles or estimating how much they think rates are going up. Now I'm a data and numbers guy and I like to tell it straight as it is, no fluff. So here's what I did. I took this year's current insurance rates from 1100 of our customers, along with the rate they paid last year, put it into an Excel chart and used the average function to get the average aircraft insurance renewal rate across the board. The data is from January 2023 to March 10th, 2023, the date this video was filmed. So it is up to date and extremely accurate. After averaging 1,100 aircraft owners insurance rates from this year versus last year, the model showed a staggering 24.34% increase across the board. So with confidence and data, I can say that the average renewal increase for aircraft owners from 2022 to 2023 is 24%. We work with all the major aviation insurance companies, so the increases and in rates we get are the same for every other broker out there with the exception of Avemco, which is its own standalone company. So 24% year over year increase is the average for all aircraft owners. This includes all types of aircraft, student pilots, helicopters, etc. On top of this, I was able to break down the rate increases more specifically, and the results are just as interesting. Seaplane insurance rates, this includes floats and amphibs, increased 72% from 2022 to 2023. Tailwheel aircraft insurance rates increased 54% year over year. Fixed tricycle gear insurance rates increased only 13% year over year. Retractable gear aircraft insurance rates increased 23% year over year. And finally, insurance rates in Alaska increased 58% year over year. Again, this is actual data from 1,100 aircraft owners. Now, here are some things to keep in mind. Number one, aviation insurance rates hit a high between 2008 and 2010. From 2010 to 2018, they decreased every single year until they started going back up again at the end of 2018. That's eight years of decreases and we are only on year five of increases going back up. Number two, inflation is a real thing and it affects aviation insurance just like everything else. Cost of repairs goes up, cost of lawsuits and liability awards goes up, and inflation is definitely playing a factor in these rate increases. When you think about inflation and the cycle of the aviation insurance market on a roughly eight year swing, seeing a 13% increase for tricycle gear aircraft is actually almost a decrease year over year. Finally, every aircraft and pilot is looked at differently by each insurance company. Sometimes even specific makes and models will get different increases versus other makes and models. Okay, let's wrap this up. It's extremely important to me that aircraft insurance is as affordable as possible for every aircraft owner. But keep in mind, it's always a balance between keeping it affordable and making sure the insurance companies can pay claims and stay afloat. I wanna thank you for staying to the end of this video as we went through some very interesting data and information about the aviation insurance market. If you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends, hit that subscribe button. You can email me directly, matt at bwifly.com. Thank you for trusting BWI and fly safe.